Hello everyone, welcome back to Electric Plays Pacific Drive. It's been a long time since the car looked this healthy. There is not a single thing on here apart from the side floodlights that needs repairing, and that's only because we can't repair the floodlights. It was gifted to us by the zone, and when it's when it's gone, it's gone. That's what it says. Now we have a we have a job to do, which is to look at the the next the second wall. We've got to go into the next level of wallage. And I was talking about sort of exploring this area off camera. I haven't done it. Um, and I don't think there's much reason to. Um, because we're not going to find... We're only going to find limb and, you know, junk, basically. And I don't want any of that. Uh, what I do want is unstable limb. Look, I've got... Uh, okay. I've got 13 unstable limb that I forgot about since the last episode. So let's have a look what we can unlock. Oh, we need a lot of materials from the second zone. Thermosap crystals, we need the the globules. You know what I mean. Uh, there's, there's a bunch of stuff we need. <clears throat> Vargas Auto Pack. What is this now? The addition of a sorting system will take your tidy present into a more organised future. The transfer trunk will be filled with collected items before being deposited. I thought it was doing that anyway at the start. Maybe it wasn't, and now, now we can have that. Rapid pump. More parts lockers, an expanded locker, it's just sheets. Uh, stable energy needed there, we've got 8.6 of that. Uh, let's have a, look, have a look around, what's this? Smart, we've got a level 2 matter deconstructor, that's interesting. And that's stable energy. Better, bolder and maybe a bit bigger, the upgraded suspension makers will literally snatch anything you throw at this beast right out of the air. Sure. I don't. Okay. <laughs> I nearly did. I nearly scrapped the plans for it. The same. Well, if only I had something that I wanted to throw at it. Well, I don't know, okay. <laughs> okay. Um, carrying on. We've got new tools. We can make a new scrapper. We can learn the Liberator Mark II, which we did want to do. Oh! The new headlight is probably better than our current headlight. We've got insulated headlights, but I was talking about that. I think last episode, we don't really need them to be insulated. We've got good insulation over there, and they seem to suffer more quickly. So let's, let's do that. Bio flare, crude flashlight, eh? maybe later. Lead plated bumper. We can learn maybe some of these. Next time, as we swap the pieces out and put some of them in for repair and take the other ones out, we can learn these extra bits that we don't use very much. Anti-corrosive door. So there is one. And they might be worth learning when we're going, if we need to go somewhere that's going to be a problem, basically. All-terrain tyre. Hmm. Got better health as well. Let's learn that. And then... Power grip tyres, that's corrupted energy, that's okay. Extra fuel tank. <clears throat> nah. I was thinking about taking off the floodlights, putting on... So I was thinking about this whilst I was editing. What if we took off the floodlights, which we don't really use, and we put on the car every type of generator that we can find? We've got... The wind one, we've got lightning, and we've got water if we buy this. Upgrade the battery itself. Where does this go? Seat rack. I think I've installed a seat rack that I haven't used yet. And then get the electric engine. Dare we? <laughs> we've got a solar panel as well. Presumably goes on the roof. Side rack. Oh, okay. So we could take the battery off, the spare battery, put a lead acid battery in, which goes in the seat. And then this one does as well. Yeah, 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 yeah. 
Okay. Let's start with this. Uh, right, so high capacity battery. Whoa. Goes here. Okay. Then we want to take off let's take this off. And then, if we can still afford it, after all that, the new engine. Amp engine. 234 horsepower compared to this one. So it's a decent amount better. This one we can't get yet. It has 9 MPG. So if you want, if you want the next one, the limb-chipped engine, we're going to need to improve our fuel capacity, but also our ability to get fuel. Like right, this one, we can get electricity. Swamp coral, that's what I was talking about. 360. Okay. In that case, do we put the other stuff back? No, we've got a big... This is fine. Yeah, this is fine. Right, let's pick where we're going. I think we should just go follow the mission. Um, that seems reasonable to me. It does involve going through this. <laughs> acid devours fuel, which is fine because you can avoid the acid. It's not like it's an environmental thing. Uh, heavy fog, warrens, lots of warrens. Is there another route? No, you have to go here. Or here, but not here. It's doing our purpose. It's putting the extreme conditions between me and where I want to go every single time. But we haven't left from these places. We haven't made a gate in these places for such a long time, but it's permanently bad for you. Should we unlock a new place and then go again? That seems cool. So we can go here. Shocking. Yeah, we can get through it. Anchor obfuscation, corrosive waterways, and swift storm. I, I also kind of don't want to leave from a place that is already perfectly state, uh, like extreme conditions. Especially with anchor obfuscation, that doesn't help anybody. Okay, let's just go the way we were going to go. Don't make it any more complicated than it has to be. Right, we've got all the stuff that we need. We've got a scrapper. We've got a spare scrapper. We've got the level 2 vacuum. We've got the level 2 liberator yeah and we've got the thing that we're taking with us in the first place which is important i'll have you know this is still going wonky isn't it and now that one. Oh. let's have a look at the see if that is a quirk we can find right it's definitely something to do with it's, it's so consistent but sometimes it didn't happen let's see what the options are Uh, front left door. Oops. Ah. Front left door is open. Let's just try this. See what we get. We've got how many guesses have we got? I can press V to investigate. What does that do? Okay. I have ten guesses remaining. Okay. Oh, that's interesting. There isn't... There's something about this door being opened. Ha 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 ha! The door closes when you put it in drive. So when I get in the car, it's closing, and then it tries to close, which glitches it out. And it doesn't close. So shifter... Oops. Ah! Really confusing. Shifter. I'm guessing it shifts to drive, but we don't know. Uh, front left door opens. Yes. Uh, what? What the heck? The, the, the front left door closes. Oh, I put opens. But it didn't smiley face me on this one. Why did I put opens when it closes? What? Open all the doors. 
Might have to uninstall the the auto park. You get it. You're annoying. I'm trying to deal with the shifter and that thing keeps faffing about. Right, get in. That worked. Because it didn't change. Right. Put it into drive. Every car door attempts to close, but doesn't succeed for some reason. <laughs> I don't know why. And then... When... Hang on. When this door... Closes... Did I just bump that? Oh, I think I just bumped it. Okay. You can shut the door by bashing into it. I had no idea. That's great. Um, when the shifter... Oh, stop that. When the shifter... Shifts to drive. Every car door closes. Yes. Please let that be. Mechanics kit. Please let that be the reason the door is fattening around so much. Hooray. So it's because it's shifting to drive when I get in and it's currently closing. That means I can now get in the car because it's... Oh, okay. It developed that quirk as I was leaving last time. That's ridiculous. Uh, fine. There's more things that I don't care. That, that was the one that was stressing me out. So let's leave. Let's get out of here. See you later, auto shop. Could we make a new head place? Should we? Don't bother. <laughs> let's play the game! Stop. There's no way we're ever running out of battery. Look at that. We've got 100 battery units. We can get up to 70 miles an hour. We need a lot more of the, the gunk, though. I'm tempted to go here and then here. just for the... But we can go to the second zone anytime we want to. We just never seem to want to. It just told me that if you lose all your health, you end up back at the auto shop. Which means there's probably an in-game reason for that. Uh, and I'd be interested to find out what that is. So we're going all the way over there. Can we follow the train line or is it above us? We'll find out. Can we explain, by the way, why it says safe on here? On the car readout? Because... Is it because we're not in any anomaly, not in any danger? The Ooh, okay. Abby, I gotta ask, were you around when the old wall was nearly breached? Do you want to know if I was involved? I mean, sure. No one knew more about where anomalies came from than you. Heck, I mean, you know, the only reason anyone knew anything about anomalies was because of the research branch that you four started to build. Yes, and we developed ways to prevent anomalies, not create them. You can't prevent something if you don't know where it's created in the first place. So you did pick up a thing or two around us, scientists. Mm. So, we've learned that we need the... stable limb. For the quirks. So there's a good reason to go exploring the rest of the stuff. All I know is, I didn't give two craps about anomaly prevention. You fought uphill the entire way. Never thought I'd see the day where you'd sugarcoat anything coming out of your mouth. The Harmonic Disruption Research Lab was an abject failure. No, I wasn't involved, but I stood by and let it happen. By that point, the Lim project was in a bad way. A lot of tourists, Either huh? it found a breakthrough and justified the government resources it was sucking up, or the entire project was put down. Everything depended on this technological quantum leap that evaded us for decades. In response, all good sense went straight out the window. For every one to out of thin air, Lim technology conjured increasingly greater horrors. But it was done in the name of progress, and we were powerless to stop it. The harmonic disruption research branch 
All I could do to soften the atrocities Arda unleashed in the name of progress. I tried to clean up my mess, but I failed. There's plenty of time to clean up this mess. Oh, I guess it was. Like, what are you gonna do? Still messy. No, I'm gonna stay on the road and go and get it. Also, um, this <clears throat> is not random spawning. They hurt. Ow. Well, that's interesting. I had no idea. I've not. I've never touched them before. Not on purpose. Because I've assumed that they hurt on contact, but actually they have spring. I didn't even realise they were sprung at the base. That's brilliant. <clears throat> so if you push them over too hard, then they explode in your face. I'm down with that. I can understand how that would work. Oh dear. I'm all the way over there, and you're still... Look, this is very naughty. <laughs> so that is not far enough away, in case you were wondering. <laughs> we need to turn around, because we're going the wrong way now. We could leave if we wanted to, because that was terrifying and horrible. I don't think we want to. Do we want to try and... Is that a train tunnel that it's telling me about? Because I, I kind of want the rest of the limp, but also... It's going to be difficult to get. It's playing hard to get, and I don't, I don't want to deal with that. Ooh. Might be some chemicals and stuff in here that... Keep us in the... Uh... Keep us in, in silly putty to make sure our car keeps working. Seems important. It's open. It's been ransacked already. Unbelievable, Jim. Let's see what is this way. It's, an, it's a <clears throat> it's a train bridge, rather than a train tunnel. With a train still on it. Not a fan. I'm not playing anything. Um, there's nothing on the radio. <clears throat> Some reason that's kind of disconcerting. There's always been something on the radio. No, there isn't. I'm charging up, even though I'm not moving. Just, it must be the sun. It must be the solar panel. I mean, hardly any sun at all with the fog out, and yet I'm charging up like... It was... You know, the Sahara. <laughs> What's going on? Definitely going to install that engine, then. We need a lot of that... Thanks. Marsh... Eggs. But that's fine. We can find that. Who's broadcasting this radio? <laughs> By the way. Not that I'm complaining. I just can't tell if it's more creepy that there is radio or that there isn't radio. When there isn't radio, you feel like you're abandoned, left alone in a wilderness. The only people who know of your existence occasionally deign to talk to you in between their scientific studies. And when it goes away, having already existed, you feel like you have specifically been cut off from uh, a lifeline that you once had. But then, when it does exist, you're thinking, hang on, why is there a radio station out here? What am I picking up? What is the topology of this place? How are the radio waves getting to me? It doesn't make any sense. It doesn't have an announcer. It should have an announcer like in Fallout. That would be good. Maybe it's a tape. Maybe I've had a tape deck in this car. 
Okay, we're going to high instability. Can we go there? There's no way into this that doesn't evolve. Can't even get in here. Okay, fine. Warrens, acid devours fuel, swift storm. We'll just get in and out. Let's not worry too much about it. There's a new hazard. Anomaly of acid proportions in here. I don't like that. There's a lot of acid already in this zone. It's another straight line one. Oh. It's both good and bad. Okay, well. We'll do our best. The actual anchors are on the road, essentially. That's good. Try not to get too distracted by anything else that we see. Just make sure we get through. Unstable limb is not currently a the bottleneck in our research, to be honest. So I don't get distracted, and I immediately am about to get distracted because I need a lot of this stuff. So I'm gonna get distracted. Sorry. Yeah, <laughs> it really hurts. Where's the car? Alright, oh, it's boring, so I remember. Oh, have we scanned these sons of a beast? Why are you? Is it just a dustbin? Okay. So, anyway, get off my car. Thank you. Already. Still going. Hopefully it's a slow storm. Once it has started. Oh. Fix it all. Including the shortage. I'm wondering if it will stop when everything's repaired. Or if it just stops when it runs out. I suppose it's not a waste to stay there and find out. Because I'm not coming back to it. <laughs> it's, that's it. That's the cost of it. That's, that's it's done. More of this is fine. Storm speed? It's not even... It's barely moved since it started. The, um... There's a device that helps you find resources, right? What do these dust bunnies do? <laughs> Um, and I'm thinking maybe it would help, because they don't show up on the map, obviously. So maybe we should think about grabbing it, because we want to find resources like marsh eggs and thermosap crystals that we can't see from the roadway. I don't know if it'll work like that, or if I have to keep getting out and scanning that way. Take it. <laughs> Something glitched me out. Why am I glitching out? Stop it. Oh, I'm in a storm. Okay, fair enough. Grab the juice. Where's the juice? Here's the juice. There's a truck. Let's go to the truck. Better leave my car there, by the way. I'm going to be salty if you... <laughs> Start driving the car around, but I'm not in it. New shifter, interesting. Bit of food. Okay, car. You are driving around without me, you S of a B. Look at that. Oh god, I hate this person already. Oh, she's still up. That's good. Still in the storm, that's why. The actual storm. <laughs> it's just so pathetic. Oh no, swift storm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't worry about it. The storms have always come in at a, ba a fairly sedate speed, actually. I don't know if that's been every storm. I haven't paid that much attention, but it has been the ones that I have paid attention to, which is the quote-unquote swift storms. So... It certainly seem, at least, that um, 
excuse me, thank you very much. Uh, it will certainly seem that the Swift Storm description and the Swift Storm action are not congruent. The Swift Storm action is shows up quickly, which is what we surmise. We should have a look to see how fast the storms. I was going to say we should have a look to see how fast storms come in when we're just sitting around, not not in a Swift Storm situation, but we usually leave. <laughs> we almost never actually wait around that long. There's corrupted anchors here. That's good. So this counts as zone three. So it's perpetually stable. There's going to be a lot of stuff here we don't understand. Okay. Old wall. Wall crossing. Smokestacks. Corrupted limb. Corrupted limb. Corrupted limb. Perpetual stability. You're not the first to try crossing wall. the old wall since the anomaly has moved in. But we'll make sure you're the first to survive. Two things to survive! I haven't seen that door, by the way. Get the old wall, there are five crossing points. You need to induce the electrical grid the entire way by driving the car close enough and fast enough along the conductors. You'll see them as you go. Once you jumpstart the grid, Tobias will route the mid-zone power your way, but no induction, no power, no power, no crossing. Second, watch your battery gauge. You will live or die by that thing. Got it? Good. Start by connecting the power grid at the first crossing point. The controls will be up in the observation tower. Is this a trolley or an anomaly? I was really hoping it was an anomaly. It's sort of a, a Reaper Man type of situation. I haven't got any sun anymore, so I'm not currently charging. I should be though, it's raining, so that's probably fine. This place is a little bit creepy. Alien landscape stuff going on here. Let's investigate. There's a whole bunch of new stuff to learn about. Like this, for example. <laughs> this doesn't appear to be moving. I thought it was moving. It's not moving. Don't you even think about it, dying. Devil grinder. What's this? Tour bus. Whoa! <laughs> don't know if I needed to do that, but I did it. It has been done. What do you think that is? Watch it, you. Whoa. Okay, <laughs> don't worry too much. Right. Let's go over there actually. I am intrigued. Probably avoid that grindy thing. Careful of the car, you'll break it. Is it the thing I'm going towards? No. It looks like a transmuter, but it's out in the middle of nowhere. Why? It is a limb magnetizer. I want to look at that. Dang it. Never mind. Uh, let's put some fuel in. We can do that. Well, I'll tell you what, also, what the heck? <laughs> I didn't realise that had done that. Has that always been there? Uh, let's turn the car off. Save some fuel while we're experimenting with this thing. We'll get some scrap metal. There we go. Not a fan of that. Um, and this is.
limb magnet. Which is okay. That's a new thing. Uh, glad I did that. We've got a lot of scrap metal. And we can probably live without the... We can, it is a good trade, I think. Is what I'm saying here. Okay. So the road is over here. Oh, hello. So... Basically going the right way. What are these things? Resource. Beach ball. Vacuum cleaner. Red balloon. 99. 990. No, that's much faster. It's nice like that. I like the fast one. That. It's just so big. <laughs> Get in there. And you. Gouge. Presumably I'm going to have to actually put the thing on at this point. The, the new bumper. The electric bumper. I also want to see if I can make a mechanics, uh, electronics, and uh, the electric just skip yet. Yeah. No. Uh, oh, okay. Here we go. We have one electronics left. So, how do you fix a short? Zap it. Okay, following this road a bit more. Hello. You should just stand in there. Bloody tourists, get out the road. Acting like you own the place. Just straight up a, a charge stop. I don't need that. However, I need to scan it because I've never seen one before. Right. Carrying on. Yeah, it didn't do anything. Which is good. I don't think it did anyway. Because I didn't need anything doing. So... What happens? Okay. It's one of them. We've done them before. Gather some stuff. We do have a battery jumper. We've got two actually, so it's unlikely that we'll struggle here. And it's raining on our new uh, rain. Oh, no, never mind. Is it sunny? Can't tell. Hopefully one of the forms of <laughs> recharging uh, is working at the moment. If we go fast enough, then definitely one of them will be. Um, excuse me, bombs? What, what bomb? Bomb, what bomb? Maybe that's red balloon. We should learn about Red Balloon. We should learn about... Uh, oh, hang on. Let's do... Uh, this. Apparently we've already had this stuff, so never mind. Uh, the barriers are fine, I Let's. I think now we have to take this off, right? We have to swap this. Hang it. Right? That's what I got that hair for in the first place. We've put it on like we were supposed to. Let's drive. Got fuel, got battery. Left our common sense behind where we should. Presumably they talk to us before we go in there. What am I doing? Assign the limb... Oh, I have to... 
benefit. I have to assign it to an ability. There we go. Flip the switch in the tap. I missed the switch. Okay. I missed the switch. Boom. There are old shuttle stops at each crossing point. Use them to recharge your battery and hope they're still in working condition after all these years. That car looked like it was completely covered in I don't know what. Alright, are you ready? Are we all ready? This is gonna be slow start. <laughs> We know how this works. Oh, jeez. This was no fun. Right, apparently there's somewhere to charge my battery here. Can you get out of the bad pit, please? And presumably fix my car. I'm not sure where it's telling me I can charge my battery. I don't see nothing. Does this hurt me? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it does. Okay. That's fine. Uh, how's our battery doing? It's full. <laughs> Right, I'm going to charge my gear, fix my car a little bit, because we're going to be driving through some more rubbish. Uh, we want to make sure it survives it. Right. Taking the racing curve line. Take the racing line. You can find it. Oh, jeez. When am I supposed to use this thing, anyway? Okay. Battery is now better than it was before we started. They've put a thing. Francis. Transmuter. Good. Holding steady. I'm going to have to ignore. Stuff to explore in this place, and I'm ignoring it all because I'm doing the racing thing again. Oh, we did a circle. I'm ignoring it because okay, it's, it's just the. Should we do it again? <laughs> okay. bit is particularly difficult. Everything's changed. You moved it all. Getting all right. some interference, Tobias. The power supply is wavering. I'm working on it. Our local battery farm is putting up a fuss. She hasn't been cast like this in a while, but I'm easing her into it. Don't worry. Hurry up. <laughs> Try faster. Oh, I need to fix myself. Those devil things were a nightmare. I was struggling a bit as well. Okay, can I have a repair thing, please? Am I going a different route? A different way? Are you sending me a different way? Arms one through three are reporting total power drain. They're spent. How long to recharge? Could take up to a day. Oh my god, I got this. I think that'll do. Next bit. Hmm. 
It says that's looking worse for where I saw it fixes. Okay. Carrying on. We can probably explore this place after we've done our job. First thing to do is our job. I like how they prepare you for this a few times during the game. But it's entirely possible that we could have got this far and not actually have uh, seen one of these. Nice. I want a repair stop, not a charging stop. Language. Get that power back up. The gate at the final crossing point won't open without it. I'm rerouting power from battery farm six. Easy. I'm actually going to look for some stuff to make more repair puts you with. Just in case. It is raining again, so it's going to be oh, chemicals. Yes, it's going to be very difficult for us to run out of battery. <laughs> We over prepared for this completely by accident as well. I only over prepared for this because I was expected to have a new engine and then I forgot to check for the material cost of that engine and now I don't have it. Especially since I haven't found the stuff that I need for this engine. <laughs> I need the marsh eggs. Give me them. Where the engine uses marsh eggs, huh? Right. Are all these entrances going to have these horrible devil grinders as soon as you go in them? I thought it would reset, but actually, we're just going through a different one each time. Yeah, that's naughty. That hurts a lot. Okay. Uh, what do you think I need? These ones, huh? I'm sorry, I agree. What is this music doing, by the way? I think I'll save the putty. The car seems okay. Famous last words. Like, he doesn't think it's okay, but... I think it'll be fine. I'm hoping it'll be fine. Gotta get up there faster, bro. <laughs> Entire bus stops full of tourists, it's incredible. It hurts, this hurts, this hurts, this hurts. Okay, okay. I'm gonna lose my headlights either, so you should. It's fine. I don't know where these guys are. And they're near us. Tobias? I'm just going to keep going. Uh, Tobias, I'm just going to assume that you're okay. <laughs> I hope that's cool. Wish I had the new engine. This is a fun chapter. I like it. It's actually kind of stressful the amount of time it takes to get from one to the other. But I haven't actually missed one yet. It just always keeps me on. It's like it's like edging emotionally. Okay, good. I think we just keep going. Try and keep our momentum a little bit.
What with? Something. <laughs> Why have I got this shield? I meant to buy us. Ready? It's actually kind of tense. I hope I don't want to buy us to get injured, but like, it's thoroughly set up for that. <laughs> okay. Why do these all have to start with like being ground pieces? Oh, the tires bus. If I can make it, oh, I don't need a ceiling kit. Ah. Ceiling kit, ceiling kit, and ceiling kit. Gonna be a problem. Okay, good. Glass shards. What are you? What do you make a ceiling kit out of? I'm guessing, let's just pretend that the back doors don't matter, okay? The ceiling kit, the, the tires matter. This door matters. The wind turbine matters. It's fine. It's fine. You ready, guys? Look at these. Blimey. The whole place is just full of this. What happens if I miss one? Can we try again? Do we have to start the whole thing again? Hopefully these are like checkpoints. I'm also assuming that if I crash into these like bus stop thingies that that's bad news and I don't want to be doing that. Give us a signal, Tobias. Tobias? Stay with us. Turn you on. Friends. <laughs> well, what do you know? One time I find myself out of things to say. Bobby. Take care of him. Man, he's not coming back. Dude, just because, look, I know you didn't have the best of a relationship. It was a little bit patchy from what I heard. There was a little bit of antagonism. You know, we don't wish this on you. You're as honourable as her late husband. Ow. Heck it. It's cute. It's happened, okay? I love you forever. I love you forever. Keep my headlights going as well. He can use himself as a bypass. Tobias, 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 answer me. Tobias, answer me. He'll answer. Don't do it. You can't go out there. Just when I press the thing. Oh, the noise it's making. <laughs> Open the door from the observation tower. You didn't tell me that. I've already done the thing. Okay, fine. Maybe we've got as long as we need and it doesn't actually make a difference. <laughs> I reset, okay. I thought the thing was going to set it off. Ooh. Oh, 
Let's hear this thing. Swamp Carol. Okay. Still gonna loot in case I can make more stuff that will help me fix my car and do other things that improve my chances of getting through this. Uh, open. There we go. Right. Right. How are we doing on power? Because I just realised the limb shield stays on. It's really, really high. <laughs> I've had this limb shield on this whole time. Which might have been helping me get through all this without um, scathed. In. But, here we are. Because uh, it's hardly using any power at all. Which is insane. Honestly. I guess we just keep going. Maybe we come back here at some point to get the rest of the stuff, but... Junction A2, stabiliser. And we're in, the, we're in the corrupted zone, so we're going to be able to unlock a good few things. I thought this would be a quick episode, actually, but that was an intense scene. Hope we find out about Tobias soon. <laughs> Don't like not knowing. Tell me, tell me. Well, here we are. Perpetual stability? Yes. Right, in that case, more fixing. Ooh. Yeah, I mean, I, I could hang out. We did the best we could. You no, could have sorted out. Do not do that. If we had, he'd be here with us. I'm sorry, but we've got to help the driver. Don't you dare. What? Wait, is this how you dealt with Alan's death? You just you put your head down and, and, and let the water fill the gaps? Actually, that's precisely what I did. And you'll recall the breakthrough in self-healing materials that I made that year. Oh, well. Bit short sighted, but okay. Good for you. I'm sure Alan would have been very proud of you using his death that way. You know what? Whoa. The whole pep talk I gave you before to convince you to go through with it. That's precisely the same crap Alan would tell me all the time. Sounded like it, to be honest. Sacrifice. Stay late. Don't worry about me. Finish your work. Then we can start a family. <laughs> always, always spew that crap. So why do you say it to me? Because he has to have been right. Because if I let myself think he was wrong, then... I... can't live with that regret. I gave everything for them. This is the last thing I'm holding on to for myself. Every single day I still think about how if I had left this all when we had planned to, I wouldn't have lost Alan. We'll get you out of here. It's going to be cool. Right I, uh, <coughs> I need to sign off for a while. We'll be here when you're ready. Glad you got through, driver. Power on that stabilizer, and I'll see you back at the garage. Maybe I need more of that. I feel like I could do with more of that. I've only got two. Three. You're right. Um, down here at four. Right over there. Good mate. If this isn't using any power, it's crazy. What's it doing? <laughs> What's it for? Can I scan it? Yeah. All right, we do well to find some stuff that can help us. Uh... You want to put it in the car? Oh, I dropped it. <laughs> I was like, put the, put the gas can in the car and realise I dropped it. I've got the arc doctor, I forget. 
I'm gonna hang on to this actually in case we find more stuff. Uh, we want more repair putty. Or just to survive long enough to not need it. We can probably rebuild. We have the technology. So if we lose stuff, it'll be bad for us short term because it would be protecting us, but we can recreate the bits of car that we lose. I don't think that's going to be a problem. Yeah, we should read up on this uh, limb shield to find out what it really does. Suddenly I can go really fast now that it's not an issue. <laughs> I don't want to go fast now. I want to go fast when I'm trying to chase down the power coupling which it goes. By the way, we're leaving from this point. We're getting back to the shop, so we need to open the gate. But we've got a lot to explore. This is all new. What's this? Oh, it's the... Okay. Also, just to learn about the topology of this place. Because the other place, the Zone 2, had these big wheels that I kept getting perplexed about. This one seems to have massive pipes that maybe I can drive in. Certainly walk in them. Anything good? Just the other end of it. What about this one? <laughs> Worth a look. So I'm thinking now actually maybe the best thing to do is get close. The the anomalies seem to spawn quite far around the anchor when you break it. So the best thing to do is probably take as little damage as you can and then Hopefully, the anomaly will not spawn right on top of the, uh, the anchor itself. And therefore, the car being near the anchor is somewhat protected. Maybe. Where's the limb? Why am I being... Why am I being highly lit? Is that the moon? Or is that the sun? <laughs> it comes to something when you can't tell the difference, right? Burned out. The glow is gone. It's, so these can just have arbitrary, random issues of other things. Another one. Amazing. This one's charged. Or shorted. It's great that you get dumpster pills from the insides of these things and... Uh, Stuff just floats in the air, apparently. Explosives crate. No, okay, it's just explosives. It was always explosives. Is it reforming? Is it just the area of is it effects around here? That's fine too. Um, interesting. I'm intrigued by everything I'm seeing. Explosives turn into chemicals? So it turns out there are explosives. <laughs> oh my. Why? What do I do with those? Dare I do anything with those? Right, and then we'll go and get the limb. And then leave this zone. Just a little bit of the zone. We'll uh, scramble. Ah! Just leave. <laughs> we'll figure it out. There's another one here. More limb immediately. Mm. Nothing immediately trying to attack my tires, so I'm gonna chill. So the limb shield appears to drain battery while it's shielding you. Not like while it's on, but while something is attacking you. Or maybe it's just always... I can't sit there anymore. Oop, hello. Anything here interesting before I ruin the area? No, okay. Grab. You. And then... Turn around. Eyes okay?
car there. <laughs> Lost. We can go. Also, what did I put arc dot on? Control. Just use a bunch of power, but like, it seems commensurate. It's like 1% of power for 1% of health. Which would have been a problem if my power was a lot lower than it currently is. Because a, a unit of power will be more than a percent. But it's not. Because it's better. Because I got a massive battery, which I haven't even checked for the health of. The outside stuff is sad, but the inside stuff is okay. So does this sort of stop it from hurting so much? Not really. Maybe somewhat? It does seem to be glowing all the time, every time I smash things up. I probably shouldn't be doing quite such reckless abandon. Oh dear. It's not draining power at the moment. Can't see. Yep, let me out. Can't see. Is it up there? Yeah. It looks like there's a. Ooh. Random selection of equipment. Oh, it's here. Take it? Yeah. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Why is this happening right here, right now? On top of me. Well, I've got plenty of gubbins. But I don't think I need to spend any repair putty on the car, because I'm about to leave. Now, there's a decent chance that some of this stuff gets quite thoroughly hurt, <laughs> I suppose. Uh, whilst we're leaving, depending on where the gate is, um, it's going to be quite hard to avoid a lot of this stuff. But we do have this new limb shield, which might save us a bunch of damage. Uh, so we'll, I guess we'll go in and find out what happens. Park up. Throw the switch. There's always a backpack. Now there should be a gateway somewhere. Where is it? Oh, we're leaving. That way. Whoa, there it is. The gateway is also the exit. Interesting. Like the, the road out. And this is when the storm moves fast. So... Well, knowing that it's the road out, we just follow the road, right? Yeah. Whee! <laughs> I mean, it's gonna, it's gonna, it's gonna be difficult because that storm is moving fast, and once we're in it, we're gonna start taking a lot of damage. So we might have to fix some parts of our car, but that's okay. Stick to the road, I think. It's not the exit, it's just on the road, okay. Just got lucky with where it is. Proper gateway. Easy way out. Yay! Now that was a good episode. It's an enjoyable mission. It's an interesting story. A bit of emotion. A bit difficult. A bit awkward. Welcome back. Yeah. Sort of. Now we know where the well is. <laughs> but you're the first to step foot in the deep zone in over 15 years. Mm. And I need more time to understand Alan's suppression method. So why don't you stretch your legs and chart the deep zone while you're at it? We'll need to map away to the well as it is. Chart new roads. That's our job. Literally the only thing we have to do right now. Let's 
so we will, I suppose. Why not? I have enjoyed this episode quite a lot. There's a lot of progression, a lot of interesting. And, um, hmm. Are we going to have a happy ending for Tobias, or is that it? Let's have a look in these dumpster pearls and see how fortunate we get. <laughs> how is, oh, do you know what? Ooh, I wonder if we can... First of all, you have to take them with you. How many can I carry? What if we, could we get it in the... I don't think it will fit, you know. But we can do this, which seems satisfying. Whoa! <laughs> it's silly. That was very silly. Eat. Still haven't got a hoop, by the way. I don't even know where my basketball ended up. Pardon? Ooh. That's what we like to see. Just having a quick look for the basketball. Maybe I'll have a... Do some hoops off, off camera when you're not looking. See if we've still got it. You know, still got a complete failure and incapability to do it at all. There's just red balloons are coming out, come out of it. And they've gone gloop gloop and they're just floating in the sky. Are they moving? No? They've just stopped? We've, we've logged it, yeah. Let's look at this while it's beacon. Shut up. Tardigrade time. We see an amazing tardigrade variations here. Gorgeous specimens, specimens displaying unusual behaviours. That's interesting because I thought I was going to be finding some tardigrades at some point based on the previous one, but it has not happened. We can upgrade this. Maybe we should. Because if we don't, this thing's going to be really annoying all the time. Government yellow. That's a new one. Uh, I'm going to upgrade it, because I can, and it's annoying. Uh, can I? Yeah. Right. Now you'll fill this up straight away, which is grand. Um, okay. We've got some return through a deep zone gateway, so we have to do that. Let's see what it's telling us to do. Basically, go somewhere and then come back. Look at these weird things. Tourist attraction. Unknown. Unknown. Tourist attraction. Unknown. So this means different things. We've got a lot of this zone to, to map as well. Not a lot, actually. I said that, but look, D1 we haven't visited. This is dead end. This is dead. We can't visit some of the places I actually want to go to. And we've got zone zero. Like we've got the, the outer zone to visit, which is going to be handy because I've got so many of these dang things. Right? I've got four things left to diagnostic. If I... And they're still blinking at me. I've got 0.5 Kalim left. How is that a thing? Surely I picked some up in that first zone. Oh, that's how much it cost. Oh, it's the other way around. I've got 2.6, and it's going to cost me 0 0.5. If I did this, for example. If I did this, for example. Keep pressing E, because that's the use button. So this hit will cost me 0 0.5 Kalim, so I'll pay for it. Is low. Oh, I haven't, I haven't done that yet. <laughs> okay, fine. So when fuel is low, okay. Let's try this one. Dome light. Oh, that cost me 1.5 Kalim to know this one. See if we can see if something happening when the dome light stays on, or turns on, or whatever. I don't hear any changes. This is why these quirks are weird, because I kind of don't care. If I can't figure out what it is... <laughs> no, I could do that. Um, I knew I could honk it, but I didn't know I could do it that way. Can't figure out what it is. What difference does it make? Anyway. Let's do some law reading, because I've got a lot of repairing to do. Uh, in between times. I, look, my battery's at 100%. That's insane. No, it's at 48%.
Fire Star, 100%, that's what I'm saying. Uh, visit the friendly dumpster. Give me a dumpster for Okay. Visited the friendly dumpster. Let's have a look in this place here. Again, thank you for watching. If you're not going to read through all this with me, but I'm sure by now you A, know that, and B, are with me every time. Charge stop. Journal fragment. Dr. Francis Cook. October 18th, 1960. How to even begin to sum up my first few days on the job, my first experiences working for this organisation. I have no idea where to start. Ardra is doing some remarkable things and has plans for so much more. And the organisation is growing at such a rate. It feels, it really feels like we're recruiting the best of the best here, both at home and from overseas. We've been flying in new hires from halfway around the world and admin can't process the security clearances fast enough. It looks, as, it looks like admin assigned to the outfit researching inductive charging and resonant coupling. The team is small, but we'll be working with the very latest limb technology, and there's already talk about how we might have a functional prototype by the end of next year. Mm -hmm. That means a working charging station, one deployed in the field, able to power devices from as small as a radio to as large as a small train, and or a car, somewhere in there. It's truly astonishing, and every morning I have to pinch myself. Be small. Private field notes, Dr. A.F. Kingy, date unknown. Clear up continues. But even after six weeks, even six weeks after February's lab explosion, we're still finding more and more gel that has escaped into the atmosphere. Between 700 and 800 cubic metres of material was ejected in the blast. We believe it was initially distributed over approximately 200 square kilometres, but given the nature of the material, it may well have travelled further. Given time, it would seem that most gel tends to settle somewhere around local ground level, regardless of environmental conditions, altitude or air pressure. However, its very nature makes it susceptible to strong winds and meteorological changes, meaning it may be many weeks before we have a full picture of the scale of distribution. In addition, it seems that a great deal of blast debris may have been mixed with perhaps even suspended in the gel, which has a habit of slowly absorbing items it passes over. Ahaha. Lim Magnetize, the private field notes Dr. A.F. Kingy date unknown. We continue to experience a growing demand for on-site manufacturing and engineering facilities, especially as Arda's requests for custom-built equipment increase. It's becoming difficult to keep up, and the degradation experience within the zone takes a daily toll. In particular, we find ourselves in need of a great deal of machine parts and magnets. For the latter, it has become necessary to improvise large machines that can quickly magnetise ferromagnetic elements and their alloys in the hope that we can mass-produce replacements. While our early prototypes were somewhat jury-rigged and themselves vulnerable to the vagaries of zone conditions, I believe I have devised a substantially sturdier solution. I'm distributing blueprints of this limb-assisted design to all department heads. Found in smokestacks. That's what that was. Oh, so that area was a smokestacks area, so that explains possibly all of the... Like, I've noticed that there's icons on the map, and they presumably relate to the stuff you find in the area, like... Um, you know, what sort of features you're going to find in the terrain. Tour bus. Transmission fragment. Dr. Anita Olsen. November 28, 1968. We've lost Dr. Powell now too. God damn it. Yes, yes, I'm fine. Yes, I'm sure. Yes, I'll hold. Yes, that's right. Yes, he was adamant that it was safe. It was stupid and it was unnecessary. That damn man. Listen, tell your men to stay back. This one is even more dangerous than the others. It's like... It's like an evolution. Yes, that's what I said. I don't care what you think. We can worry about that later. Right now I need helicopter extraction and nobody, I mean nobody, goes near any more of those things. Don't forget, Captain, that the chain of command just changed. Now I'm in charge. I want to find this door. So I can scan it and also not be near it at the same time. Devil Grinder. Transmission fragment Arda Field Headquarters, May 4th, 1968. So, imagine a dust devil. Yeah, you know those. So, imagine a dust devil, right? But turned up to the max yeah i said to the max lenny hold the receiver to your ear your ear yeah so it's like a dust devil but so much more powerful like small like focused but so strong with the strength to just pick up trash and uh, even stones and hurl them around collins has a goddamn concussion or some crap like that a concussion huh oh uh, it's when you hurt your head no not when you hurt your head. I mean, a concussion is what when a person hurts their head. What did you say? Yeah, sure. Like a boxer. Listen, Lenny, I've seen this thing smash a truck into submission. I just pummel them. I said pummel them. Hey, hold the receiver to your ear, man. Shout. I am shouting, Lenny, but you're not listening. I'm trying to... You know what's going on? 
What are you doing? Someone there? Who is that? What the hell? Lenny, are you kissing? <laughs> Explosives. You probably shouldn't have this. You probably need a specialist training. You probably need a license. You're probably in trouble. Red balloon. When life is simply too heavy, lather on this otherworldly substance to lighten your day. Guaranteed to reduce loads and soften collisions or your money back. Asterisk. If swallowed, seek medical assistance. Limb magnet. This ferromagnetic material has enough pull to give it automobile applications. In other words, it can help to accelerate, restrain, or even to balance components. Interesting. So I did scan it today, but I thought I hadn't. There. Lights. Any different? Okay. Bioheadlights. Marrying limb technology with the zone's curious bioluminescence, this light projects a powerful, intensely focused beam. It's probably best not to think about whether it might be alive. Yes. Third acid battery. Can't possibly be safe. Look at it. It's too big. It's too wobbly. Went foot under the hood. It went foot under the seat. Seat. This is the work of a maniac. Shifters. We've got a new shifters. Cactus shifter. So gentle on the hand. So soft to hold. Fine. Cool. Nice. We got a new colour. You want to tell me about the colour? Did I get it? I need to find the colour. Uh, government yellow. Yeah. Why didn't that tell me about that when I picked it up before? Anyway, maybe it came out of the... Maybe it came out of the thing. Paints. Government yellow paint. Officially adopted by the state of Washington, government yellow has been assigned to civic vehicles and zone service cars. Show your solidarity by following suit. That would be the yellow that the Arda cars are already painted in. Anomaly studies, number seven, Arda Cat Ref 485, waist height, and one of the few apparently benign anomalies reported. These were frequently found hiding in warm, dry places during cold or wet weather. This included under vehicles and by heating vents. Bulbous and resembling puffball mushrooms, they would squirt dark liquid when disturbed and roll away rapidly. Rarely sighted after 1976, but occasionally still reported. All right, that is everything. Um, I wanted to have a quick look in here whilst you're with me, to see if there's anything new we can learn. Uh, no. Where in that? Swamp coral, That's we need a lot of that. Olympian fragment we haven't even found, but we've made it to the right place. Carbon fiberglass, we can just make some. Let's do that. Can I create that here? I don't think I can. Make two of those. Oh, I don't go to tree candy. Where does that come from? Hmm. <coughs> Quick check, tree candy. Where is it? There. Cold but juicy. Found in the scorch. I think there's one of these. Like this, maybe? The scorch, yeah. Ah, now, hang on, hmm. When we do this... Stop it, thank you. Um, yeah, there's an unknown, see? <clears throat> so tree candy is only found in the Scorch, because there's no unknown. There's no other places. So we need to go back here a few times. Ah, that's interesting. That seems pretty cool. I like that. Because I... I mean, I don't want to, but I have to. So we should. Um, so we should probably go to this one. Because that will let us link to C2. Cool, sure, cool, why not? Alright, well that'll do for today. I'm going to do the rest of this fixing and making stuff off camera. Uh, maybe I'll play with the Tinker Station, but I don't care. Um, and I'm going to get some limb, because we need that limb to get the Tinker Station to tell us what's actually wrong with the car, because it's possible to figure it out. Until next time, this will do for today. Thank you for watching. I hope that you've enjoyed the episode. I hope you join me next time. Oh, don't forget this stuff isn't here repaired, by the way. And I'll see you then. Bye!